Hello team, welcome back. Welcome to Nginx training and today we will see the request types of the HTTP protocol, right? So we will see how many request type do we have in the HTTP protocol and what is the use of each request type in HTTP protocol. So team as we have already discussed and we are aware that HTTP request is basically being sent by the client to server to get the data, right? So whenever we are saying that we are sending the request, then that request must have some component and on the basis of these component, the web server is basically processing the request. So we are going to discuss about these component that what are these component and what is the use of these component and what is the purpose of these component for the web server. So whenever HTTP client is sending the HTTP request, that request is basically being sent in the form of the request message and request message contains the glow property. The first is the request line. So whenever we are sending the request to the web server, we are sending the request in the form of the request message and the first property of that particular request message will be the request line. The next property will be the zero or more headers. It means after the request line, we will send the headers. Header could be the number of headers or zero header. After the header, we have an empty line which will indicate that header fields are basically ending over here. And then we have the optionally message body. It means request have the four part. First is the request line. Second is the header. After the header, we have the one blank line. And after that, we have the request body which is required whenever we are sending the request, right? So body is optional. Some HTTP request accept the body. Some don't accept the body. So we will discuss what is the request line, what is the header and what is the request body shortly. So request line begins with the method token followed by the request URI and the protocol version. So the first line of the request body is the request line and request line construct with the three properties. The first is the method token. The second is the request URI and third is the protocol version. So let's discuss about the method token. HTTP protocol have multiple methods like get, post, put, delete. We will discuss about it. The request URI is something which is the resource path and the protocol version is the version of the HTTP protocol which you are hitting. So let's go to the browser and I will show you what I am trying to explain. So over here what we will do, we will open the F12 and with the help of the F12, we will open the network tag. After this, what we will do, we will open the Nginx web server which we are running on our machine. So we are running on machine like 133. So this is the IP of my machine on which the Nginx is running. I will hit this IP. See, the Nginx web page is basically being loaded and over here in the network section, you are getting a, a one call is being made. The status code is 304, type is the document and this is the complete information about this particular request. So here inside the network section, you are getting the request information. This is the request which is being sent. See over here we are getting the one request. 180 byte is transferred 612 byte is resource and finish time is 446 millisecond. This is the dome content loaded type of request. So by this particular way using my browser which is a web client I have hit a HTTP request on my web server which is running on my IP 104.131.80.130. This is the Nginx server which we are running on our Ubuntu machine. Here is the request. Let's click this particular request. And you can see this is the request URI which is HTTP based call. Right the request method is the get which I told you. Here is the status code. We don't need to worry about it and the referral policy. We don't need to worry about it. Let's go to the request header. Inside the request header you can see we have the header which is accepting the text HTML application HTML application XML image web image png jpg application signed exchange and the other things as well encoding is the gzip accept level is the en us connection is keep alive this is the host which i am hitting and this is the modified request and the other parameter of the request so team this is the request what i am hitting so over here what is the request uri request uri is a get method then we have the slash resource path it means we are hitting the slash resource path because we don't have any resource after that particular path and the protocol what we have and the protocol what I'm hitting is the HTTP protocol. So this is the complete request URI in my case. In my case, the method was get right. The request URI was the slash path and protocol was the HTTP. So this is the request line which could be the first in HTTP 
request. Then we have the request method and we have the multiple request methods in the HTTP protocol. Let's go with the request methods. The first method is the get and whenever you want to retrieve the data from the web server, you always use the get right whenever we are not changing anything whenever we are not sending a body in the request we are using the get method get will always use to retrieve the data from the web server other one is the post so post request used to send the data to a server whenever you want to modify some data whenever you want to submit some data you will use the post right you can take an example whenever you are putting some comment on a facebook right so you are sending some data to the Facebook server that request is a post request which will have some body right and in that body it will contain that who is sending the request from where that particular request is being sent on which post that particular comment need to be submit and what is the content of that particular comment as well with the help of the post you can update the customer information you can update any data on the server you can upload the file and you can submit any kind of data modification on your web server although the web server must accept that particular request that will understand the formation and the client should be the authenticate client who is sending the request then we have the put put and post are both similar they both are used to change the data on the server but put replace the current representation of the target resources with the uploaded contents it means whenever we are adding some modification we are submitting the put request generally developers avoid to use the put right most of the in case of the put as well developers are still using the post request to submit the data then we have the delete and delete will be used to remove the representation from the web server which is being defined inside the uri delete will also not accept any body you just need to define the complete resource path which you want to delete and http protocol will delete that particular resource from the resource path then we have the connect which is establish a tunnel between the server identify the given URI so whenever you want to make the connection with your server with the help of your application code you will use the connect right so these are few methods which you can use get post put delete and connect in the HTTP we have discussed about the method we have discussed about the resource URI and we have discussed about the HTTP protocol version as well this is going to be the complete request line for your HTTP request so let me try to open the browser and let me show you the what is request URI so over here let's close this terminal and I will open some websites. So suppose I will open YouTube right this is the YouTube web page now if I will click over here over here my request URI is slash path only because I am hitting the root resource of my web server whenever I will go some specific things suppose I am going with the trend I will click on the trend right so over here I am getting the trending videos now inside the URL you can see you have some other fields slash feed slash trending that particular thing which is being added in the base URL is called the resource URI this time you are hitting this particular resource URI on the YouTube web server although the request is still get but resource URI is being changed so that data is also being changed we are sending extra parameters in the request and the change is resource URI if we will go to some other things like subscription then resource URI is basically again changed now the resource URI is feed and subscription so team this is called the resource URI which is being appended in your URL after the host URL same thing is applicable with any website which is sending the static page or the dynamic page in many websites you have the forgot page about page contact us page so these are the resource URI for that particular websites Right, so team, if you have any doubt, any question, then please let me know. I will be happy to answer your question. That's all about the component of the HTTP protocol. Thank you, team. Thanks for your time.